good afternoon or good morning to you if you are on the on pacific time or hawaii time uh, this is sk gosh i would like to welcome you to our web seminar today the topic as you see is changes from ace 710 to ace 716 Uh, this is an overview. Uh, it's by no means comprehensive. Uh, we have two and a half hours. Uh, that that's not too little time. At the same time, it does not allow me to be comprehensive because the changes are many and and quite substantive. ACE 716. In case you haven't you haven't seen it yet, uh, looks like this. Uh, Uh, more colorful than ever before and for the first time in two volumes the commentary is a separate volume 2 uh, now that i have had occasion to use it uh, for quite a while i i quite like the two volume arrangement because you can keep a provision and its commentary open at the same time which was not possible when the commentary was at the back of the book Uh, obviously if you are using electronic copies uh, it doesn't make any difference in addition to the paper copies printed copies ace has brought out a couple of other items this time that i should tell you about uh, up until uh, now we have gone to the us geological survey website for values of s sub s and s sub 1 the seismic design parameters that we need uh, in uh, seismic design for wind design wind speed particularly in hurricane prone regions we have been going to a website maintained by the applied technology applied technology council atc Uh, ACE now has come up with a hazard tool from which you can get all environmental loads for a particular location <clears throat> the location can be uh, in terms of the the latitude and the longitude uh, of 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 the place and you can get from the hazard to the s sub s and s sub 1 values the design wind speeds the ground snow loads uh, atmospheric ice if, if 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 that's what you are looking for rain load data all environmental loads in in one place uh, unfortunately this is not part of a ce 7 Uh, you have to pay for it separately and it's an annual subscription although the 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 price is not high I, i don't remember what it is the other item is a subscription based platform uh, where ac has put both ac 710 and ac 716 and their commentaries uh, the uh, attraction of this uh, the, the this this particular item is that if a standard or another document is referenced let us say from ac 716 you click on the on that document and the document opens up for you so so this is this makes it easy to work using uh, ac 7 is the previous edition ac 710 was adopted by the 2012 ibc when i say adopted by it essentially means and i i think all of you know that 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 the big chapter 16 on design of the ibc is based mostly on uh, the uh, the minimum load standard ace 7 so chapter 16 of the of the 2012 ibc was derived from ace 710 and when it came to the 2015 ibc 
the reference standard was still ASC 710, except that by then ASCE had processed a supplement number one to ASC 710, which contained about two dozen technical items, mostly seismic. I would say maybe six, seven, or eight of them were kind of substantive. So the difference between 2012 IBC and 2015 IBC, uh, as far as AC7 is concerned, was that the 2012 IBC adopted AC710 without supplement number one, and the 2015 IBC adopted AC710 with supplement number one.